In this presidential race where every vote will count, it's a nail-biter. Poll after national poll shows Kamala Harris and Donald Trump statistically neck and neck. But here's the thing. This is going to be a tight race until the very end. And with your help in 22 days, we will win. We will win. Casting herself as the change candidate, Harris is reaching out to black male voters, pitching forgivable loans for black entrepreneurs, money for training programs, and a promise to legalize marijuana nationally. Since the Democratic National Convention, support seems to be softening as Harris tries to rebuild the coalition that elected Joe Biden and Barack Obama. In the suburbs of Philly, Donald Trump also mining for votes. His message has grown darker, demonizing immigrants, promising mass deportations. His campaign believes it's helping him. Many are coming in from jails and prisons and mental institutions, insane asylums. We have sick puppies coming into our country. And this is troubling. Trump says he'll use the military against what he calls political enemies if he's reelected. I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics, and I think they're the and and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard or if really necessary by the military. Harris tonight went after Trump. Those people are more dangerous. The enemy from within. Playing his words at her rally and warning. We know who he would target: election officials who refuse to cheat. Judges who insist on following the law. A second Trump term would be a huge risk for America and dangerous.